Alright, what we're going to be doing here is I'm going to show you how to use the actions. I'm also going to help you, I'm going to show you how to create one of these. And then, it may look simple, but I'm going to show you how to make it so you can, it's a one click thing and then it'll create it automatically with actions. What you can use this for is, you can make, you can use it on tubes. And you can put it on there and it adds more depth. depth. I'm going to also show you how, I'm going to help you create the overlay circles so that you can put it on here and it'll show you what the result will look like on here. So first what we're going to do is we're going to select the circular marquee or just you can pre either press M or just go right from here. And you want to do is just hold down shift and drag a nice circle there. Now you want to do is you want to click on the new button right here for new action and then name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine overlay, overlay circle. Now you want to do is, you want to press D. So that, that way if you don't have black and white right here in your swatches, it'll reset it to black and white. Which we're going to need. And then hold on Alt, Backspace. Control Shift N to create a new layer or you can click right here. And then Alt, Backspace. Then you want to go to Select, Modify, Contract. And contract it by one. You can see it moves in there. And then hold down control and backspace. And then it fills in with white. When you hold down control, it'll use that. And you hold down alt, and it'll use that when you press backspace as a fill. You can also just use the normal paint bucket if you pleased. Alright, and then s select, modify, contract once more. And then delete that. And then control D to deselect it. You can click right here for stop. And as you can see, we just created that right there. We can all okay. So now let's let's test our action that we just made. Go ahead and minimize it. Then we're going to show you how to do is you can go click on this button right here and then choose button mode, and then it'll go into all this. And then you can do is that's a one button thing ins instead of having to click on it and then click on play. So let's just go ahead right here and created a circle right here. I'm going to show you what would happen if you ha hadn't um, made it reset the palettes. So as you can see, once I click on this, you'll see it reset the palettes. Otherwise it would have been red and then a cyan in there. So let's click on this. As you can see, it creates a new layer, it resets the palettes, and it fills everything in for you. So now you have a perfectly new circle here with new layer and everything. Now we're going to put this on here. So just load up your, create a wire however you please, and then position your circle over it. As you can see, it doesn't look that great right there. You might, if that's not the right size, it's usually best to create one a little bit bigger than that. Let's just play the action real quick and create a new layer for it. Alright, so now we have a perfectly new one. Now what we want to do is, maybe put the opacity down to 50 is usually good. As you can see. If that doesn't quite look right, you can always hold down Control i and that'll do that. But for in our case, I won't do that. Because it already looks correct from here. So let's position it in the first position right here. Now, it's going to look confusing for a while while you're working on it. So now what you want to do is, while you're selecting this layer right here, you hold down Control and press J. Or you can always take that layer and drag it down to the new one and it'll duplicate it. So now you can see that it gets darker. So now we have two of them right here. Depending on how big you want your notches or how far away you want them to be, just position them. And then you can see this uh, two rings are overlapped. As long as you have a little bit of space in between them right there, it'll always be aligned. So let's say that we were to be all the way up here on the curve. If you see it right there, see how it's still aligned right there? That's what we're looking for. So let's continue.
So keep just keep on duplicating it and move it a little bit each time and make sure that it's aligned with the wire here, or the tube. You keep on doing this, and if it once you get a certain amount, U5 is usually good. Go to your first layer and then press E or just choose your back your eraser and choose a good side or a good size here. Usually like to, for this piece a nine is usually good. And then just go ahead and do that so the other part of it isn't anywhere overlapping the other pieces. Because now that we have that, we can we'll clean that up later where it's overhanging. Now we want to leave this. We don't want to erase that because we still want that circle. So let's keep moving these. And for the sake of time, I'm just gonna up and move on. So I'll just clean this up and then I'll show you what you do. What you want to do is, by the time you're all done, um, positioning these all the way up your wire, or your tube, whatever you want to call it, they should all look like they're pretty much flowing with your tube. If you can see that right there, it's going up. You want to do is, you want to find. If you're using CS2, you can hold. You can just do is. Um, you click on the top layer and then just hold on Shift and then click here and it'll select all those. Or if you're using the older version, you have to click on all the links here to click them all. And then hold on Control and then E, or you can always select it from here and just merge all the layers. And as you can see, it created a big group for those. Um, what you want to do is, you hold on Control. As you can see that my cursor changes right there and you want to click on your tube layer. And hold on control shift I and then it inverts or you can always go to select um, inverse. And then while you're sele selecting this you can see it inverse and then press backspace and then it cleans those edges up for you. Um, so yeah basically you, you continue moving all those up there and then what you want to do is clean it all up and then you should be done. You can add color and stuff like that. Um, I hope you learned something out of this. Um, the actions and everything and I hope you can create a nice looking wire.